now let's take a look at the painting. So here we have the glorious Venus at the center of the painting. And to the left, the winds that are gently blowing her on her shell across to the shores of Cyprus, where an attentive maiden is waiting to wrap her nakedness. At the center, we have the beauty of all beauties, the goddess Venus. The earthly goddess who by arousing lust in mortals, help them onto the path of understanding spiritual beauty. And so in 15th century Florence, Botticelli intended by offering this image of female perfection to raise the minds of the viewers, to lift them into the realms of divine love. There are many differing versions of her story. The Neolithic Greeks called her Aphrodite and had her born of chaos and dancing on water. Homer described her as a golden beauty. Roman Caesars claimed her as an ancestor. The Romans saw her as not just the goddess of love, but of marriage and motherhood. She was mistress of the graces. She was the mother of Eros and the symbol of sexual love. All versions had her rising fully grown from the sea. One particularly powerful story tells of how Cronos killed his father, Uranus, sliced off his testicles, threw them into the sea, where they created a furious bubbling foam. And out of that foam was born the most beautiful woman.